As we're working on a fairly complex object with many small faces, it's best to reduce the identity or accuracy of the Boolean operation. This gives us a higher chance of a success rate with, with any subtractions. Due to the complex nature of Boolean operations do sometimes fail, and TrueSpace will prompt you with a dialog box should this happen. So open the Boolean dialog panel and reduce the identity to 20. With the mouse object selected, use the Boolean subtract tool to subtract the cutter from the mouse body. The status bar at the bottom of the screen will keep you updated whilst the Boolean operation is performed. When it's complete, unless you have Keep Drill enabled in the Boolean dialog, the cutter will disappear, leaving a gap in your mouse. Although we slice the mouse in two, it's still classed as one object by TrueSpace. In order to separate the two halves, use the Decompose into Individual Objects tool. You will see as soon as it has worked that the Move Down in Hierarchy tools are now available. So, click on the Move Down arrow, and then use the Unglue tool to create two separate objects. With the grid enabled to ensure the objects can easily be realigned, move the base of the mouse out of the way for the time being. You'll see it moves in set increments, thus ensuring all our sections remain in perfect alignment. A quick look at it now shows the result of the shell tools use as we have a hollowed out base. Make yourself another cut in exactly the same way as you did on the previous section. This one though needs to curve the 180 degrees to match the shape of the buttons. Sweep the M face to create a good overlap. And then add another cube to create the two separate buttons. Check from all angles to make sure the cutters overlap the mouse. Now, select the upper section of the mouse body and subtract the lathe cutter object from it. You can then use the Decompose into Objects tool and the Hierarchy tools, along with the Unglue icon, to create the separate objects. As we're going to be working on the buttons, we can now temporarily reposition the mouse top off to one side. Working with the final cutter object in the scene, scale it so it overlaps the buttons object and subtract it from them. As before, separate the buttons into two separate objects. Hiding the reference planes, you'll see now we've created the four basic segments that will make up our mouse. save the scene.